Zena knocked the back off of her new figment pen, which she got at Pin Traders. Pin Traders. Anyway. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See it. If you're not familiar with the layout of Disney Springs, it is in kind of the central part, just behind the Planet Hollywood dome and across from STK. We are here to take advantage of a pass holder discount that they have going on right now through the end of this year. It's 40% off your entire bill, which is an amazing deal. So if you are a pass holder, it might be something to check out. Because Maria and Enzo's is pricier. It's a 20 plus per main course. Mm -hmm. So that 40% off is a big it goes deal. a long way. We knew the motif had an aviation theme, which is something we found really interesting and neat. So yeah, it's like a mid-century airport mm -hmm. feel. It's very Mad Men-esque, and we're big fans of Mad Men, as you might know from a clue or two. <laughs> be sure to subscribe to our right. channel and uh, like our videos and comment and ring that notification bell so that you get the updates. We really love to interact with you. So come on in, let's have a bite to eat. Thank you. Thank you. We're starting off with some bread. Zena's looking over the menu. I am too. Here's the menu. I love the menu style, the graphics. You have the miniaturized posters for travel and tourism. Because the theme throughout the building, throughout the restaurant, is old style travel. Mid century, primarily. Ah, Zena's enjoying the bread. You have your bread with your olive oil and what else? Balsamic vinegar and oregano. Inside of the menu, you have your antipastis and a soup, your starters. You have an extensive selection, some salads as well. Here are your main courses, your pastas. Your additional main courses aside from the pastas. And then also on the inside, your extensive beverage selection. Classics, sangria, cocktails, and a super extensive wine collection in here, which you would expect from an Italian-based restaurant. Wine by the bottle, and your daily flights, your wines here also, and an extensive selection of beers, draft and bottle as well as mocktails and your traditional non-alcoholic soft drinks. On the back of the menu, it's my favorite part, this set of graphics here, all put together. Love that seaplane, Trans Global Airways. I am going to try the bread now. It looks very soft. I'm not going to break a piece off. I'm just going to do straight on the edge here. very bready. No, it's delicious. It's delicious. Delicious. I think I just made it That's why I married her. <laughs> There's a good close up of the sponginess of it. Ooh. We have been served our vegetable and bean soup. I have not tried it yet. Zena is having a taste. We each got a big heaping spoonful of Parmesan cheese that is grated onto it. How's the temperature? Fun. Mm. Ooh, look at that large bean. Carrots, fresh carrots. This isn't like and celery, onion. This isn't like your Campbell's soup can where the carrots are just filler. 
fresh. By the way, the olive oil with the bread is phenomenal. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zeno was in suspense there as to what I was going to say, but it is delicious. It is some of the better olive oil on the side that I've had, really. Basically because it is. Maybe somebody lives here, the chef. Mm. Also, we failed to mention there is zucchini in the bean and vegetable soup and olive oil. So we just received a special tea mocktail. This is the Sicilian blush. It has uh, blood orange juice, pomegranate juice, simple syrup, and some club soda. So it sounds like it'll be nice and refreshing because it's actually kind of warm today, even though it's November in Florida. It was uh, $6. Not bad. It's not very sweet, but it's very light and fizzy and refreshing. So if you want something with some flavor but isn't like a you know sugary soda or anything, that's perfect. Our main dish is here. We have the chicken sausage ragu. It's chicken sausage with spiral pasta and a parmesan cream sauce and garlic. Cena is really good at this. I have to refer back to the list of ingredients in order to get it correct and list it all, but... Me and my memory of an elephant. What is the menu price on this lovely thing? I think it's 26. Thing? 23. Very oh. close. Very close. Well, we're going to dig into this. We're actually sharing this meal. And there was no extra charge for sharing. I know some restaurants will sometimes charge a couple dollars if you want to share a meal, but here they obliged. So they brought us an extra plate early on. Didn't have to request that or anything. They're just on it. Excellent. The plate is so cute with yeah, the little chef, chef and a pilot. I have to mention also uh, the soup was not very salty, but we're very used to salt in our foods in a lot of places. I mean, a lot of restaurants, as we all know, put a lot of extra salt and other ingredients into the foods to give it mock flavor. And sometimes you become used to that. The soup was not very salty. It tasted very fresh. And I could become very used to that kind of soup but without all of that salt in it. And yeah, it tasted very homemade. It was good. Zena has concocted her little plate. Let's get a first impression besides, oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I love chicken sausage. And this is really good. And it's kind of crumbled in there, which is good. So you get a little bit of sausage every time. You can taste the cheese and the garlic. It's not overpowered with garlic, so that's good. It's very tasty, I like it. I'm gonna eat from the main plate now that she has separated her portion. I'm gonna use the tiny fork. Blow it off. I don't like my food and beverages nearly as high. Fantastic, thank you. Mm. Again, very, very fresh tasting. We both love garlic. And it has just the right amount of sauce too. Sometimes you get way too much sauce and sometimes you don't get enough. But it's like just right. Like every piece of pasta has sauce on it, sausage. Not trenched in sauce as you can see. It's really good. Final prognosis from us on the food is that it is... There you go. And I couldn't quite finish my half of the pot. I'm just really full. I had one slice of bread. Some of the olive oil, bowl of soup. We both had the same exact thing while well, she had the beverage also. Very fresh and light tasting as well. Not too sweet. Awesome. Just perfect. Just wanted to note that the spiral pasta looks like little coiled up, let's say, cobras. Zena is a snake charmer. <laughs> We got our bill here. The total would have been $50 pre-annual pass holder discount, which is 40% currently through December 31st. And the total now is $31.95 with the discount and the tax. Wanted to note that down here in the gratuity section, curiously, it actually starts with suggesting 15%. It's pretty rare nowadays. Usually the gratuity suggestions start with 18%, so that's something interesting. Our service uh, was excellent, food was excellent, so take that into consideration. As you can see, there is some light Christmas decoration, very classy in here. This tree in the center, pretty sure that it's real. It certainly looks real. That's pretty 
Incredible. Speaking of trees, we have this Christmas tree over here. Zena noticed from afar that it's decorated in the style of the restaurant here with travel postcards. There you see a giant seaplane ship concept. And the coolest part, there's Orlando. The coolest part right up at the top is this airplane tree topper. It's a biplane. Take a gander around. Love the compass and the globe on the ceiling. Photobomb! Also attached is the first class lounge. No second class stuff here. This is where the restroom area is as well. You have an elevator to go up the to the balcony level dining. This lounge is very classy in here. Just want to note in the first class lounge there is this engraved glass old seaplane graphic here. It's beautiful. And there is this memorabilia within a glass casing. It's very classy. Harking back to the earlier days of aviation. A lot of great artwork here. Follow the bun. <laughs> Terrazzo floors. Oh, my dad would like these. Are we at Rockefeller Center? The St. Augustine Lighthouse. We've never been up into it. We've had a couple of opportunities, but haven't really taken advantage of that time. We've done other stuff because there's so much to do in St. Augustine as well. The same with Key West. <laughs> Goodbye, Maria and Enzo's. Hey, there's Daytona over there, my hometown. Coney Island, not far from where Zena was born. Goodbye, Globe. Goodbye, Compass. It's been excellent. Thank you. Have a great afternoon. Merry Christmas. <laughs>